Today in the news, AMD hits the last low-end nail on Intel's coffin. We get some insight on their GPUs and Microsoft has new stuff. What's up guys, I'm Snows and this is your boot sequence. Let's get started with AMD. The company announced their Ryzen 3 3100 and 3300X CPUs a little while ago, and the prices look really good, but Intel is also in the running with a similar quad-core CPU, the 10100. Price-wise, the two are pretty comparable. From least to most expensive, the R3 3100 is $99, the 3300X is $120, and the 10100 is $127, although that's the price per 1000 units. Anyways, some 3D Mark benchmarks have just popped up for both the i3-10100 and the R3-3100 and, well, yeah, Intel ain't looking so good. If we look at the TimeSpy benchmark, specifically the CPU score, the 10100 beats the stock AMD chip by about 10%. But as it is with pretty much all Ryzen CPUs, you can overclock it, and you can overclock that one good. Stock, the 3100 has a max boost clock of 3.9 gigahertz, but this benchmark brings it all the way up to 4.4 gigahertz, at which point it matches the CPU score of the Intel chip in TimeSpy. In Firestrike, if we look at the physics score, which is mostly CPU dependent, the stock Intel CPU gets beaten by the stock AMD chip by about 12%. Once overclocked, the 3100 skyrockets to 15,000 points. That's 26% faster than the stock 10100. By the way, in case you're wondering why this other 10100 benchmark has a higher score in the physics test, it's because of BFB or Base Frequency Boost, a feature only available on ASRock motherboards so far. Anyways, things don't look good for Intel, but they look great for AMD, especially thanks to the high compatibility of AM4 motherboards and their pricing. I mean, you can now get a great gaming capable quad core CPU and a compatible motherboard for under 200 bucks. Speaking of Intel, we got a tweet with some insight on their strategy for their consumer GPUs. It looks like Raja Kuduri is pushing the same agenda he did while he was with AMD. Instead of pushing their highest end GPUs and trickling down like AMD and Nvidia does right now, Intel is gunning for the integrated and lower end discrete graphics. Raja Kuduri said this, our current focus is very much around unsolved user problems in PC graphics, particularly in integrated graphics and segments immediately above that that reach hundreds of millions of gamers every year. So yeah, don't expect an Nvidia or AMD killer from Intel, probably something more similar to when AMD released their RX 480. In Microsoft news, it looks like their dual screen device is getting delayed, the Surface Neo. The Neo is their portable tablet slash PC that was supposed to release at the end of the year with Windows 10X. Now, the release has been postponed to 2021 or even later because Microsoft feels it's not ready yet. It's unclear if this has to do with COVID-19 though. At least Microsoft is still planning a new single screen device that would feature Windows 10X. Also in Microsoft news, they just announced four new Surface devices and accessories. First is the Surface Go 2, which comes with three big upgrades. First is a bigger screen going from 10 to 10.5 inches with smaller bezels and a higher resolution of 1920 by 1280, a faster processor and longer battery life. Then there's the Surface Book 3, which looks the same, but has different internals. Everything has been bumped up with Intel's 10th gen CPUs, faster RAM and a faster SSD. And for graphics, you can get it equipped with a GTX 1650 Max-Q or even a Quadro RTX 3000, although it is going to cost you a pretty penny. In accessories, the company announced the Surface Headphones 2, which brings longer battery life and tweaked sound quality, and the Surface Earbuds, which, well, are earbuds. I like Surface products. Actually, I love the design. I even owned a Surface book for a while, but the price is just a little too high in my opinion. What do you guys think? And that is pretty much it for the news today, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Drop a like if you liked it, a comment if you want to talk about today's stories. As usual, you can click right here to see the latest video right here to subscribe to the channel. Stay frosty, my dudes. Stay safe, and I'll see you on the next one. I don't know what was that crunchy sound. Oh yeah, it's the ESD bag for my hard drive. Upgrade video coming up soon.